home as a precaution against the virus. Helen Aura is currently attending a church service here in Nairobi and is joining us live with more details. Helen, how has the church prepared worshippers to combat the spread of the virus considering the fact that most services brings a mass of people together with very close proximity? Well, Zainab, the interesting thing is that despite the warning or being told to tune into the service online, there was a very large congregation that came here at the New Life SDA Church. And one of the things that greeted each and every one as they walked in into this sanctuary, there were sanitizers at all entry points in the sanctuary and ensuring that the uh, congregation sanitize themselves as they are walking into the service and sanitize themselves also as they are walking out of the service. The other thing also that was very evident was the children were very keen also. They were taught how to sanitize their hands and just being taught the importance of sanitizing themselves. And this also comes following the directive by the health CS, the, uh, Mutai Kagwe, that ha um, he mentioned yesterday that uh, churches should ensure that they take safety measures to ensure that their congregations are safe in this wake of this period of the outbreak of the coronavirus. I'm joined by the senior pastor, Pastor Dixon Kate, who will even give us more information, just telling us what, um, as a church, what measures, what more have they done to ensure that their congregation is safe and secure. Pastor Dixon, welcome. Yes. Maybe Thank can you, you just tell us, um, other than sanitizers, had you um, sensitized your congregation prior to this? Okay, yes, every other Sabbath we've been uh, sensitizing our members. Normally there is a clip, a health clip that goes um, through every other Sabbath and the members always get to listen and uh, at times we also organize with doctors who come and talk to our members who can tell them exactly what this coronavirus is and how they can also take care of themselves. And um, we've seen sanitizers on all entry points of the sanctuary. Other than sanitizers, do we have running water, soap in the washrooms? What else have you put in place to ensure that, you know what, your congregation feels safe and secure? Yeah, truly, we have uh, sanitizers. We also have um, soap in our washrooms um, that the members can be able to use. We also have um, requested them that uh, they should also take care of them, themselves, that they should not just hug anyhow and the keys and, and greet each other with the hands that they should be able to greet each other in a manner that uh, probably may not be able to contaminate anyone in case anyone is infected okay. yes right. and um, just as much as you said not to hug or kiss anyone we know normally on uh, during after service that's normally the order of the day but today um, the fact that we've seen it was a music sabbath it was a musical sabbath and we saw congregations from different churches who had come in to just worship with you guys do you think um you did and you took up the, to the task you were up to the task to ensure that everyone here was safe today yeah as a church we are up to the task and actually that's why we had to organize for the sanitizers that's why we had to organize for running water that's why we had to organize for the soaps so that uh, any member who comes in they are safe and secure yes right. yeah thank you so much thank yes. you so much well, there you have it, Zainab. Majority, as we can see, the children, we can see the congregants also eating. They've all sanitized themselves. And also moving forward, the church will also carry out more programs to ensure that um, the congregation can be able to uh, be sensitized more on what the coronavirus is.